Good morning. What time is it, Bo? What time is it? Way too early? Yeah. It is 5... 5? 5.15? Something like that. And we're awake. So we're all going to be a little bit tired this morning. But hey, that's okay. <laughs> Got baby's fuel for the day and mommy's fuel for the day. So it's about 5.30 a.m., which is Bowie's normal wake-up time. She woke up a little bit early today, but that's okay. So she is having her first bottle of the day, her breakfast, and I am going to take you guys around with me today for a day in the life. All right, baby, what do we got here? Let's see. All sorts. Yeah, you got your flamingo. Yes. That's exciting. It is just past 6 a.m. and this is usually the time that we get whatever chores we didn't get to last night done. Um, I feel like it's just good to do it either after Bowie goes down for the night or first thing in the morning. So we're like starting a day with clean clothes, clean bottles and everything like that. So I didn't have enough bottles to fill the sterilizer last night. So I'm doing it now and I'm gonna fold some laundry. It's a very exciting start to the day. Good morning, daddy. <laughs> Good morning, Frankie. Good morning, everybody. 6.15, the whole house is awake. Cheers, Bubba. <laughs> Just making some breakfast for Bowie while Daddy reads her a book. Got some avocado toast, strawberry, and some scrambled eggs that I'm I'm going to try not to scramble too much so she can actually pick it up and feed herself. Bowie is having her breakfast with Dad. I'm going to get my workout in. I normally try to do this while she's down for her morning nap, but we have a long day and I've got some work to do while she's napping this morning. So... I'm just gonna bang it out now. It is 7.15. This is a 30 minute workout. Wish me luck and I will see you after. And yes, I do my workouts in my closet because our garage is full of stuff for Bowie. down my mat, gonna leave my diffuser to freshen up the room because it's multi-purpose. And let's see what the crazy duo is up to, shall we? <laughs> Just relaxing to some Foo Fighters. <laughs> nice. Okay, it is about 8 a.m. Just showered, moisturized my face, got my skin and everything ready for the day. Now I'm gonna put Bowie down for her nap and try to get some work done. Bowie is down for her morning nap, so I'm going to try and get some work done. It's Thursday, which means a new YouTube video is gonna be uploaded on my channel, so I've gotta do that. I also am putting together another free download for all of my hashtag mom life mamas out there. So by the time this video is live, it's probably already available. So I will include a link for that in the video description below. Okay, it is 9 a.m. and the video is going live. It looks like somebody is awake and it sounds like somebody's awake. So let's go get her. I clearly did not have time to get ready or film anything, but I did do 
the new landing page, the new download guide, and I got my video up. So let's get her up. Welcome back to today, little lady. I'm ready. Uh, I'm not. I'm trying to brush your teeth, not your tongue. Ah, uh, good girl. Just heading on a little mid-morning family stroll before Daddy takes off for a couple hours. And Bowie is in her favorite ride of choice these days, her trike. She loves this thing. You love it too, then. And I'm one step closer to presentable. I've got actual pants on, jeans instead of sweatpants, finally. Repping my girl, Jessie Jo, can you see on the back? Fire of love, people. If you haven't listened to it yet, go listen to Auntie Jo, yes! She's awesome. And we are gonna do a little Target run, which is why I had to put pants on finally. It's a slow build today, guys. It's a slow build. My eight minute car ride, you've already managed to get those socks off, huh? Don't know how you do it, you're a sock ninja. This is life with a super active baby. It never stops. She's always at risk of falling and hurting herself, so we need to keep a close eye on you, crazy lady. All right, we were back in my multi-purpose do-everything-in-a-closet room, and it is time for this mama to try and get presentable. I don't know how much time Bowie's going to give me. She's just hanging out on the floor beside me in her floor seat with a couple toys, so hopefully I get a few minutes to try and deal with this situation. <laughs> Done. You were very patient, baby. For Bowie's little lunch today, we've got some toasted whole wheat English muffins with organic nut butter. We switch between cashew and peanut typically. She likes both. And some banana. Mm. Bowie is asleep for her afternoon nap, so I'm going to make lunch for me and Josh because he just got home. This is something that I actually normally make for dinner, but I'm making it for lunch today because we are not eating dinner at home home because we're going out to an event later. So I'm doing it for lunch. This is an awesome dinner because with a few simple hacks, it is 10 minutes from top to bottom. And that is awesome because when we put Bowie down to sleep at night, we just want to maximize our time together. We don't get a lot of it during the day. As you will see throughout this video, we kind of tap out depending on who's looking after Bowie, who's working and whatever on the days that we don't have a nanny. So it's really important to us that we just get the cooking part over and done with so we can actually enjoy our food enjoy each other's company for a few hours before we crash and do it all over again the next day so today I am making my garlic lemon shrimp with sauteed mushrooms and rice from VT I'll include the full recipe in the video description below, but really quick for the shrimp, all we need is a pound of peeled and deveined fresh shrimp. I prefer fresh shrimp because I think they taste nicer. And then you're gonna need olive oil, a little bit of butter or butter replacement. And then my hacks are prep, whatever prep you have to do. All we have to do for this is zest a lemon. So I've already done that. Prep beforehand throughout the day. When you get little like two minute windows, do whatever chopping or zesting or whatever you need before dinner time comes. And we're going to cut the lemon in half, so we're going to use the juice and the zest. And we are also going to use some minced garlic. This is another hack that saves a lot of time. Mincing garlic is a pain in the butt, so we just buy jars of pre-minced garlic, and it does save us a lot of time, and it still tastes good. For the mushrooms, we're just going to use one package of pre-sliced mushrooms. Again, this is just a time-saving hack. It might be a little bit more expensive than buying the mushrooms whole, but it's going to save you time because you don't need to do all that chopping. For those, you're going to need olive oil as well, and then just salt, pepper, and some dried parsley flakes. We're going to use all of those seasonings on both the shrimp and the mushrooms. Then lastly, the pièce de résistance is the VT rice. It is It comes in a few different types of rice. We're using the long grain today. 
The basmati is another favorite of mine and a lot of people's, I think. But this rice cooks in the microwave in two minutes. And that turned this dinner slash lunch from 25 to 30 minute experience to a 10 minute experience all in. So I'm gonna show you how I make this really soon, but it's awesome, it's GMO free, and it tastes really delicious. So because everything happens really fast, like I said, this is a 10 minute lunch slash dinner. I actually turn both pans on at the exact same time. I'm using a little bit of a deeper one for the shrimp because we are using a whole pound of shrimp. And I'm just heating up the olive oil in there. And then I'm gonna add the mushrooms and the shrimp and start doing my thing. Now that we are almost done with the shrimp and mushrooms, we're just going to pull back the corner on the rice and pop it into the microwave for a few minutes. not going very well so she might be joining us for lunch <laughs> but that's okay we got it done in 10 minutes so at least the cooking part is over with and we can just eat all together seriously this is so good we have this rice what like four times a week at least at least four times a week and i'm giving you guys a discount code for it so make sure you look in the video description for that i believe it's 30 percent off which is pretty sweet and it's delicious and you will be able to feed your family so much faster. We love having rice with our meals, but it always takes so much time when you do it the traditional way. So yeah, I love this option. Hello. Hi, Pumpa. That was a good nap in the end. Hey, she slept for over an hour. Good girl, you settled yourself. Well done, and we got to enjoy our lunch. <gasps> Ah! Josh is setting up for the video and Josh Bowie and, and Bowie is helping. It yep. Is. It's great. So many potential disasters. <laughs> Josh just finished setting up the lights and camera for me and I'm going to start filming my how I sleep train video how I got my baby to sleep 12 hours through the night a lot of people have been asking me about that so I'm excited to film the video they're outside playing on the swing in the backyard so I got to get this done pretty quick before Bowie gets bored and wants to move on to the next thing on my channel today we are talking about sleep training I know that this is a very controversial topic because some people are all for it and some people really are against it. I totally respect everyone's decision. So I just finished filming my video. It is 3.15. That's my work pretty much done for the day, which is awesome. Josh took Bowie and Frankie out for a walk so I could finish up filming. So hopefully they'll be back soon because I want to hang out with them before Josh and I need to start getting ready for our event tonight and we need to put Bowie down to sleep. car wash I think it's like 4 15 or something so we thought we would just stop at the park and have a little swing and tire her out before bed just got back from the park and it's dinner time for Bowie Beach you got some Roasted carrot and sweet potato sticks with a little thyme. Not, not seeming too excited about it, Bo, but I swear it's good. Oh, everybody's snacking it up before Bowie goes to bed. Cause I don't know what kind of food we're gonna be at this event tonight. So, listen, I'm eating Nossa mates, no. and this is a message to the Nossa mates. Send us this shit for free and I'll talk about it all the time and it's really fucking good. <laughs> mm. What are you having? No yogurt for you. Having a rusk? A little veggie rusk? Okay, it is 5.20. Dinner for Bowie is done. Josh and I had a snack. Now we need to mad dash to get ready before her bedtime routine begins at 
5.45 normally because we're trying to get out of here at 6.15, so that should time out perfectly, but hey, you never know. I'm all made up. Red Hot Chili Peppers is off. This one's cranky, so it's definitely time for bedtime. And then we get to go on our little date night, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought we would get out of the house, but we did. It's 6.30, we're running a little late, but I'm just waiting for my hubby to pick me up for our date night. I wonder when he's gonna get here. Oh, thanks for picking me up. All right, baby, where do you want to go? <laughs> so I've been talking about going to an event tonight all day, and I haven't mentioned what the event is, something that we really wanted to do for a fun date night. So this is our third date night since having a baby. High five to that. And it's a little party for the movie Yesterday that's coming out, and then it's a private screening after the event. And the reason why this is really exciting to us is we're obviously huge music fans. We do love the Beatles, but we love the lead actor in the movie because he had a really important role on an English soap that we watch every single night called EastEnders. They know what EastEnders is. You know is. what EastEnders is. Legendary TV. So if you do, you know who Tamwar is and Tamwar, whose name I believe is Hamish Patel. He is the lead in Yesterday and he's doing a performance tonight at the event at 7 p.m. and we're running late. We're not going to get there till 7.05 so I'm hoping he's fashionably late to take the stage. Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though I'm here to stay we just got out of the screening for yesterday and it was so good, you guys. It. The movie will already be out by the time this video is out. We got to see it eight days before it yeah. premieres in theaters, but we loved it. Haimish Patel, AKA Tamwar from EastEnders was amazing in Fucking it. Brilliant, His voice is beautiful. We also got given a little gift bag with his album so you should check that out it's available now i believe look at this hey Hamish, got your back boy um, i got your back boy <laughs> um, anyway we're heading home <laughs> and we're just gonna wash our faces and, and listen, to the listen to the beatles as we brush our teeth and crash because lord knows bowie's gonna be up at 5 a.m again tomorrow and we're not gonna get home until 11 30 so bye